This is called Comic Trips featuring Cat. <laughs> Paul's not here today. <laughs> I'm cool. This is Family Kroger. Family, family, family. Hold on. Good morning. It's Sunday. We're on the road. We are on our way to Richland, New Jersey to visit one of our favorite spots. It's a toy store. It's good. We are actually on our way to It's a Toy Store this time. This place is a two-story house which was converted into a mecca. It's a mecca. It's a it's, it's a big playground almost. Every room has something different in it. Almost every room is themed to its own subject. Transformers, G.I. Joe, Star Wars. And it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere, which is awesome. It's roughly about 30 miles outside of Atlantic City. We have never had a bad trip at this place, and we got some word that... They got some new comics. They got some new stuff that they are letting us kind of root through first, preview. so to speak. Yeah, a quick preview, I guess, before the public kind of gets to this stuff. But... We were gonna go there anyway, whether they had the new stuff. So we're just excited to get there. We've pulled out so many awesome back issues from there. Great selection of Power Ranger toys, original Power Ranger yeah. toys, which- That's what I'm on the hunt for. Always on the hunt or for that. Or Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comics. Right. So this spot is, it's a hidden gem down here in South Jersey. Frank, the owner, was actually on an episode of Comic Book Men. He had that Batman and Robin sketch, I believe, that he got in a diner one time and he just he loves this stuff he lives by comics and toys and he knows his stuff he knows his stuff really excited to kind of just dive into dive into some new boxes and hopefully pull out some gold today I've I, I got a really good feeling about today I think we're gonna I think we're gonna come home with some treasures feeling good yeah feeling good <laughs> ow oh how did I miss
hours later and we are out of there. I didn't want to leave. No, never want to leave. Anytime we go there, I just absolutely never want to leave. This store located out in the middle of nowhere of Southern New Jersey is probably one of the greatest little hidden treasures that pop culture and comic book life could have. <laughs> Frank, the guy that owns it, he's... He's a Jedi. He, he's, he's his own type of Jedi of these comic books and this, <coughs> this the toys and pop culture, action figures and everything. Love the, he, he's, he's just so real, which is great. You know, a store could have a great selection of anything, whether it be comics or toys, collectibles, any, a store could have a great collection of any of this stuff, but if the people that work there suck, it I'm never going to want to go back. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it doesn't help with the character. This place has everything from top to bottom. Great people, amazing selection, such as the different rooms that they have. As we, yeah, as we stated before, it's an old house that has been converted into a store, so they took advantage of having the rooms to section off each category. So the first room that you walk into, I guess, is the old vintage toys. They've got wrestlers, they've got the they, Masters of the Universe. Right. One of the rooms is completely dedicated. They have the complete old Remco wrestling figure line. They have a complete set and that's how they're selling it. Not individual, you have to buy the complete set. Same thing with the um, Ninja Turtles. Right, Ninja Turtles. The set. They have original Ninja Turtles, mint on card, mm -hmm. unpunched. Some of, them, some of them are unpunched, some, some of them, them are unpunched. unpunched. I even saw in that same room the Steve Austin figure from the Six Million Dollar Man with the bionic, bionic eye that uh, was in the 40 year old virgin. Oh, vintage Star Wars toys in that room as well. The Transformers room. Transformers and um, Power Rangers. Transformers, one side, and then a whole corner is dedicated just to Power Ranger stuff. It's which awesome. is awesome. Which is awesome. Power Rangers were got real big around, I want to say, when I was maybe like 12, yeah, 10, was, 11, yeah, something like that. So uh, the original Power Rangers <laughs> line still really holds a lot of weight for me. That was an that was an I had all of those when I was younger. Destroyed them completely, but they have them in the boxes. Yeah. You can buy the black Power Ranger, the, the the pink Power Ranger. They have the gloves that make the sound effects and everything. They got they got the Megazord. They got everything. Yep. And then you go upstairs, and the first room that you walk into is the GI Joe room. Right. Walk and up the steps and to the left. That's all it is. It's an entire room of GI Joes. They Whether had, they be on card or they be loose figures, they got them. Right, they had the Terror Drome still sitting in the box. That giant refrigerator size almost box still just sitting there. The carrier ship. They have Oh from Comic Book Men. Right, that you saw that they brought in the comic book men, but this one is still in the box. It's amazing. Walk across the room there, and then there's another room with a lot of Hollywood movie monsters. Yeah. You see Frankenstein, they have uh, the horror universe, movie. They have universal monsters. Right, universal monsters. Jason Voorhees stuff, Friday the 13th, you know, a, like I said, a lot of horror movie, universal monster type stuff. That's a smaller room. Then they have the Legends Room. The Legends Room is one of my favorites because it's just all the superheroes, Marvel, DC. Uh, they've got busts. They've got full-size action figures. They've got comics in that room. Oh, yeah, lots they've of comics got, in that room. Yeah, it's... <clears throat> We, uh, I, I don't know if there was one long box that we didn't make it through in this entire building. And there are a lot. We even found ourselves in the Star Wars room. Oh, Star, Star Wars that's room. That's my the first Star Wars room. room yeah. the Star Wars room. They had just a bunch of long boxes sitting at the end of the Star Wars room that were four for a dollar or fill your own long box for 25 bucks. And then Frank led us into the secret closet. We that, found a secret closet and... I squoze myself into said closet to search for it. it there had to, there were five or six different long boxes in there. I didn't even fit in the room, and we were still able to find a bunch. So we got away with an amazing haul today. We went into their long box room that they have downstairs that's dedicated just for comics. Everything is labeled and it's meticulous. I filled some great holes in the New Mutants series, the original New Mutants series that we're trying to fix. I think maybe now I need four. There are four New Mutants issues that I need to complete the entire run of the original 1 through 100. And they're not key issues. I have the key issues, but we just haven't been able to find them yet. Then you went nuts. On the Uncanny X-Men series, filled a lot of your holes in the... Uh... You know, 
this wasn't particularly a run that we were trying to find some sort of mammoth white whale of a comic book. We, there were a lot of holes that we wanted to fill and we wanted to try and you know do our best to complete some of the collections that we have, which is what we're initially out to do right now. However, in their front desk, <clears throat> Oh, the front desk. The front desk, the desk. It's where all of the all of the whales are. They have two copies of Hulk number one behind the desk. They have two copies of Silver Surfer number one. They had two issues of the coming of Galactus, the first appearance of the Silver Surfer. And then, for the first time I've ever seen in my life, they had a graded copy of Amazing Fantasy number 15. Spider-Man. The first Spider-Man. Never, I've never seen one graded in person and been able to hold it in my hands. It's a, it was a, it was a graded 4.0 copy, but it's still, I've never even seen one in person. And you know what? I don't even think it's really all about the money itself that Frank wants or doesn't want for it. I don't even know if he really wants to sell it. That's the beauty about this place and Frank in general is that he's a true collector. The money isn't necessarily the most important thing for him. He told I, me, he, he said he opened the store because he it's for fun. Right. The store is there to sit, talk, and have fun. When you get in there, you're going to have absolutely nothing but fun. There's no way that you can't have fun in the store. If you can't have fun in the store, you hate fun. And seeing, you know, how this guy is with all of these different issues and, you know, uh, well, you know, I'm not even really looking to sell it and stuff like that, which is cool because they're almost museum style pieces. Like oh, I said, yeah. it is. A, it's, a, it's a museum in there. Yeah. That's what it is. It's a pop culture museum. Yeah, it's great. And you know what? There's so many places popping up in the area like that. There's a wealth of air. Uh, there's a wealth of spots in Southern New Jersey that have a cool selection, but nobody beats it's a toy store as far as we've seen. As so far as what do we give them? The variety, we give them. <laughs> Love it's a toy store. We're gonna be heading back that way at the end of May because they're holding what's called it's a toy show. It basically takes over the entire small town of Richland, New Jersey. It's free to set up, free to sell, cosplay, comics, toys, everything. And if you're in the area, if you're in the New Jersey or South Jersey area, I highly recommend if you're trip. watching this and you hear about it, it's worth a trip. Try and make it out because these are the types of events that really kind of keep the culture going. While everybody's out to gouge everyone for prices and people are paying hundreds of dollars for comic books now that five years ago you could get for cover price, this is one of those honest to goodness for the love of toys for the love of comics type spots and i think that's really why we were able to make an entire webisode out of just this place there was so much to see and so much to show you everyone who's watching this what this area has to offer and in particular this store this time but we can't do it without your suggestions so keep them coming leave a comment Hit us up on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. We are at Comic Trips Everywhere. Let us know. You know, we're going to be crossing state lines soon. We're going to be getting out. We're going to be exploring new spots. We've been doing mostly places in New Jersey so far, but we're on our way out. We have the plan, and once we get a little bit more free time, we're going out. We're going out on the road, and it's all because of the suggestions that you guys are leaving us. So, overall today, awesome. Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day awesome time and we're gonna go home and we're gonna get these bad boys cataloged and watch wrestlemania and we're gonna watch wrestlemania tonight because wrestlemania see that brother you see that brother page if you're watching this i want to be you i actually want to physically be you i love her well i love you oh all right autobots roll out roll out Whatever. That's my sign off.
I'm cool. I'm feeling flustered. Can we just fucking do this? In person, I'm usually like, but on camera, I'm like, when I met Alex from Doyle, I was like, hi. I derped. Fuck! You know when I talk about a nervous laugh? I fucking have that. You ever eat buffalo sauce and it makes your nose run? It's spice. It's spice in general. <laughs> Oh, ow. Why did I do that? I'm gonna throw up. What did you do? I hit myself in the balls. I, I did it better. Is this an accident? You are just completely on the wrong side of the road there, guy. Oh, pretty. Tage, if you're watching yeah. this, I want to be you. She's not watching. I want to be on you. She has no I want to be on you.